previously on Dream Team. This is Eli Knox. And as of midnight last night, he became the new owner of Harchester United. That wasn't the deal. You should be more careful about what you're saying. Because that's the deal right here in all your contracts. Here's Hammond finding Presley. A little bit of room. Thinks about the shot from range. Oh, fantastic goal! Lee Presley! Big right out of his goal. Penalty! Rotten back. 1 1. Under pressure again, Harchester. De Silva's header. 2 1. Sporting Lisbon. And the game turned completely on its head. So what a disappointing end to what has been a troubled trip. Dragons fans may be dismayed by last night's flat performance. They'll be mortified by the ground rumours of the club that are clear out with key players. Such as Alexander, Presley, Roy, Sullivan and Mills. We can't be expected to win promotions without them. We're struggling as it is. I thought you said we had to sell them. The only thing I want you to do is get Hartchester back in the Premiership. If we beat Sport in Lisbon next week, we're guaranteed 16 million in group stage revenue. That should be enough to pay the wages for the rest of the season, shouldn't it? Yeah, but we can't. The players have already got transfers in the pipeline. It's too late. Stall the deals. After the game, the transfer window will be closed and they'll have to stay. Those players trust me. And so do the fans who want their club to survive. That's your responsibility. You're asking me to betray my friends. You can have your friends, or you can have the job. You can't have both. Your choice. Thanks for coming, Mr. Knox. Sorry, who are you? Emma Casey, your new PA. I haven't asked for a new PA. Eli sent me. He thought he could use some help over the next few days. So you know the situation then, do you? Just you have to stop some people leaving. Football's not my specialist subject, so you'll have to explain. These are the offers. We've got Bolton in for Viv Wright. We've got Palace in for Millsy, Newcastle for Surrey, and Manchester United for Lee Presley. We can bin that one straight away. They've withdrawn their offer because he's cup tied for the Champions League. What about this? Looks like it's for Presley as well. Barca. Damn. I should have expected that the way he played in Portugal. Stopping one, maybe. Stopping them all. How am I gonna do that? Can't stand this place much longer. Makes me wanna hang myself. What's the matter with you, Prisley? Pining for your mummy. Shut up, Viv. Oi! I assume you're gonna say sorry and that it seemed like the right thing to do at the time. Look, Jeff. Yeah. We'll forget about Man United. Because we've had a better offer. And this time Barker won't be able to twist your arm. For what? We're going to Barcelona. 12.5 million. That's 500 grand more than Sir Alex wanted to pay. Sunshine and Sangria not included. Come on. Hi. Nicky, love, tell the boy all about sunny Spain. We need your magical powers of persuasion. Well, you're the salesman. Oh, come on, don't be shy. We both know he only listens to you. Right then, where should we start? How about Casa Familia, eh? Picture the scene. 
Modern luxury villa set in a former olive grove. All mod cons, gymnasiums, swimming pool, private roof terrace with a sea view. That was Nikki's favourite bit, wasn't it, love? Yeah. Okay, upstairs. Don't just stand there, go after her. I worked hard to get you that deal. Look, Nicky. I'm really sorry. It's just that I wasn't ready. And the lads needed me. And after what happened between us, I didn't really want it to. That was wrong. It was a one-off. You don't mean that. I know you don't. I'm sorry. Everything all right? Fine, I'll be down in a minute. Look, Lee, things have to go back to the way they were before. It's the only way. I don't believe you're saying that. And I don't think you can either. I knew you'd be here. You work too hard, bro. Come on, let me buy you a beer. I'm not good company tonight, mate. I know it must be hard losing all the lads, I understand. But you know you and me will always be mates. Do you reckon? Yeah, for sure I do. The best. Wherever I'm after next week. Why can't you just be here next week? Look, the premise is what I need, you know that. Now I'm finally starting to get it together and I can't afford to waste one second. Yeah, I know. Now come on. Curry, a few drinks, and we go and get some action. And I won't take no for an answer. Come on, man, let's go. <laughs> you know what, big man? It's hard to believe this is the last time we're going to be doing this. Eli, it's me. I've got all the offers right here. I don't see it being a problem. I'm sure I can keep them on the straight and narrow till after the match. Someone's here. I've got to go. Morning! No offence, but you look rough. Lads night. I'm guilt. Those they could talk about was these brilliant moves they think they're getting. I've had Bolton on already this morning, and Palace, four times. Told them you're unavailable. Oh, and Chelsea Wright, Vivian's wife, phoned up. Insisted on seeing you at ten. That's not. Disappear for a bit if you want. I'll hold the fort. Only me. Chelsea. Uh, I'm just on my way into town, actually. Hold on, I made an appointment to see you about Viv's transfer. You'd have. Nobody told me. Whoa, I'm gonna have to take a rain check. I don't think so, not with Viv's transfer date looming. He's already climbing the walls as it is. We'll go to the bar, have a quick meeting, then I'll drop you into town. I've really gotta go. It'll take five minutes, jump in. So you've got the offer through, right? Mm, think so. You think? Yo, know, there's a lot on my plate right now, okay? I've had a lot of offers that have come through. Well, I know. Well, that's why I wanted to talk to you. I didn't want Viv's deal getting lost underneath the bottom of your pile. Do you want a beer or anything? Coffee? No, look, are you sure that leaving's the best thing for him? Of course it is. Viv wants to get into the England squad. David James got an England squad from the lower leagues. Well, he's back in Premiership now. Besides, he's hardly Viv's role model. What about his state of mind? I mean, Viv's happy at Archester. He's got friends, a stable environment. I mean, you've even said it yourself. He's doing better than he's ever done. A move could make him worse. Well, that's why we're lucky we got Bolton. Sam Allardyce is supposed to be a genius when it comes to handling difficult players. Viv's met him and they got on like a house on fire. Look, I know it must be difficult for you losing friends. I'll be sorry to go myself. But times change and people have to move on. 
There's nothing I'm gonna say is gonna change your mind, is it? Just wish us luck. Appearance, fees, release, clause, bonuses, but it's all there. You've done a terrific job, love. Thank you. All we need is to get a move on, then we can go shopping for some shorts and sandals. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is, the 12.5 million pound man. Oh dear, look who got out of bed the wrong side. Well, don't worry. Once you see the package this little one's put together, things will look a lot rosier. Aren't we dynamite together? I noticed. What was all that about? I thought you two had sorted things out. Andy Womham didn't make, will you? Lee! Can you come down to two? Your game sucks this week, goodbye. Is this about Barcelona? No, I'm fine. Well, something's up. None of my business, eh? Well, let me give you a wee word of advice. Big European nights like this don't happen often. If you get anything in your head apart from putting the ball on the back of that net, I suggest you deal with it. Pronto. Everything all right? Yeah, great. Please don't be angry with me, Lee. And why not? Look, Nikki, I'm sorry. It's just... I couldn't even chew properly today. This has all just got my head a bit battered. At least admit to me that this isn't what you want. You know it isn't. So why are we pretending then? Why don't we just see how it goes? And what about Jeff? What about him? He's done so much for us, we owe him. Yeah, he's gonna get his fair share of the money anyway. So, you know, he's, he's gonna be happy. It's just the thought of telling him. And well, I'll tell him. Is he seriously? I'm not going to let anything get in the way of us. Because that's what I've got to do then. I mean, Nick, I want to tell her. I thought we'd lost you forever. Did it go all right? You look a bit down. Yeah, well, sometimes this job does that to you. Start to forget the difference between right and wrong. Deal! <laughs> I'm buzzing, man. On fire! You wanna know why? No, uh, do you think this is sensible? Maybe we should just wait until everything's finalised. This is my man Dino. There's nothing you can't be told. Listen, did I ever tell you about the time as a kid? My old man used to take me and Linton down to Charlton. Mm -hmm. We were so garbage he played the night the club got promoted. 86. <laughs> it's always been my dream to play for them. <laughs> but I never dreamed it was gonna come true. But thanks to my girl here, it is. Alexander the Great's going to the addicts. <laughs> What's wrong? I thought you'd be pleased. I am, mate, I swear. If anyone deserves this, it's you. Just sorry to see you go, that's all. Sorry, I am. Um... Given a lot of thought to what was said in our meeting yesterday, I am very sorry to have to tender my resignation. Make sure this gets to we like, please. Yeah. 
He likes Emma. What's the news? Not great. He's just handed me what I think is his notice. Don't panic. I was expecting something like this to happen. So what's the plan? Oh, I still have a few aces up my sleeve. By this time tomorrow, we'll be right back on track. Usually this early, it's just that Mr. Knox asked me to bring you these. I don't follow. They're for your new car. What new car? The Aston. Martin. DB7. for me. Mm-hmm. So we're taking it for a spin then, or what? Check that bad boy out. And it gets better. <laughs> Who's she with now? You no. filthy, oh, filthy oh, boy. That no old. way. Morning, boys. It's not just the way it looks, it's the way it sounds, it's the way it feels, that leather interior. <laughs> okay, I'm getting quite worried about the whole leather thing. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Eli sent this through for you. Be a mistake. I don't think so. Eli mentioned something about you getting the same Champions League bonus as the rest of the players. Where's that letter I gave you yesterday? I'm sorry? The letter? But the post is already gone. You want me to buy it? No. Sure, this is what you want? I'm gone. I can't do this to Curtis, okay? Do you deserve a handle? I'm not in. Maybe Curtis will be the one deal that slips through the net. If you keep the others, Eli would accept that you had to let him go. We could make up some excuse. Can you don't me make that work. Of course. So do you still want to post that letter? I guess not. So, uh, how are you feeling about things? Uh, yeah, fine. Not worried about the Barca move? No, not exactly. Good, good. Well, that was one thing I wanted to talk to you Look, about. look, could it wait five minutes? I mean, I've got something on my mind, and if I don't say it now, I may never. Go on. This is gonna sound pretty crazy, what with me being 40-odd and Nikki being a beautiful young thing, but... I think she's falling for me. Uh, Jeff, I don't really think that Nikki. The thing is, son, feelings mutual. You mean that you like her as, as well? <gasps> it's more than that. You see, at my time in life, you don't get many shots at happiness, and when you do, you gotta take them with both hands. I don't know exactly what she feels for me, and I know I must be taking a risk, but if you get a chance of a happy life with people you love, then it's got to be worth taking, don't you think? Not been lonely, I hope. 
Oh, no. I've just been watching TV. <sighs> Look, sorry to leave you out. It's just we had a few things to talk about, you know? Oh, really, it's fine. <laughs> well, I think I'll hit the sack. I will. You didn't tell him. It wasn't the right time. Well, why not? Oh, Nicky, I'm um, really tired. I'm going to go to bed. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Jeff Stein, football consultant here. See Mr. Boyle, and you are. Emma Casey. Delighted. I'll go straight through, shall I? I'm sorry, Mr. Boyle's busy. Jeff, I'm busy. This won't take a moment. Ah! Just what I was looking for the official offer. I was beginning to think this hadn't arrived. All we need now is your signature, and we are good to go. Where's Nikki? At home, why? Because we can't do anything until she's here. Why not? Because you don't have a license. We don't need to bother with formalities, Dean. This is all off the record, mate. Not anymore. This club can't afford to get in any more trouble than it's already in. Now, I either deal directly with Nicky, or there is no deal. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Now, without being rude, we do have a Champions League game to prepare for. Let me just get this straight. All we need is Nicky to come in and a deal's done. Exactly. Right. That's what we'll do. Dean! Look, I know you're hectic, but I really need to talk to you about Viv's transfer. I've told you, you can't do it now. That's fine. Bolton are saying that they haven't had any response from you. That's strange. They should have done. Well, they haven't. So we need to make sure they've got Viv's medical reports and everything so that they've got time to process things at their end. I'll get them out on the case. Could you fetch me Viv Wright's medical records, please? Sure. Thanks. Harry? No. I spoke to Phil Gartside this morning. He says that you haven't even given him a verbal agreement of their offer yet. When I mean, you can't have a problem with the fee, surely it's 2.5 million. The fee's uh, generous. I just haven't been able to get hold of him. I've got his mobile number. Phil, hi, Chelsea Wright. Listen, I'm here with Mr. Ball now, so I'm just going to pass you over. Phil! Well, thanks. You? Got them. Please. Great. So, listen, that's all going to go straight away, right? With the signed contracts. Absolutely. Great. Thanks, Dean. I really appreciate it. I'll see you at the game. What now? Don't send them. Don't be stupid. I've just been on the phone to the chairman of Bolton Wanderers. There's nothing I can do. Are we meant to send both of these? No, not the Shinx report. That's confidential. Viv Wright is not mentally fit to be playing professional sports. But on this occasion, I think we're going to have to. Brilliant. I was hoping to have a contract to celebrate with, but it has to be you who closes the deal. Red tape and all that. Uh, where's... where's Lee? Oh, he went to bed early. I think he's a bit worried about the game tomorrow. Well, uh, seems we've got a minute. Um, this is difficult, so uh, bear with me. Um, I, I know our marriage... It's not the most romantic in the world. It's not necessarily how you planned your life would be. But it's not been all bad, has it? No, I guess not. So there's something to build on when we get to Spain? Definitely. I mean, we should get loads more clients once we're out there. Especially once we're speaking Spanish. That's not really what I meant. Which is why I should really go upstairs now and prepare for tomorrow. I don't want this deal to fall apart, do I? See you tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. Lee? Lee? I've 
I've got a big game tomorrow. I need to get me sleep. I know, I'm sorry, but I need to talk to you. About what? The other night, when you went out with Jeff. Yeah. Did he talk about me? Why? He's acting really weird. It's freaking me out. He told me that when we go to Spain, he, well, he thinks he's got a chance with you. What? Oh, my God. And he doesn't. No. How could you even think that? I don't know. Lee, I could never feel that way about him. Something stinks. Don't worry about it, mate. My move ain't gone through yet either, but it's always a scramble, isn't it? Aladar should have phoned by now. This should be sorted. What's going on with you and Charlton? I don't tell anyone, mate, but I've got a meeting at the Grange this afternoon. Pen to paper. All right, boys. Afternoon. This is Evil's acting, man. All right, boys, come around. Come on, lads. Okay, now I don't have to talk to you a lot about how important this game is tonight. The papers are doing enough of that already. So we're just going to do some simple set pieces now, okay? <laughs> How many goals did I score past you today, Viv? Was it seven or was it eight? Hey, boys, I think there's only one man truly ready for action here. And, uh, but don't mind me saying it, I don't really know why Bolton are even interested in you, yeah? <laughs> you get late again last night, Presley. Let me think. When was the last time I saw that coy little grin of yours. Can it have been Portugal? Shut up, Viv. What's the secret? Why don't you tell him, Presley? Who could have been in Portugal and be in Harchester? Just leave a Viv, yeah? Mamma mia. <laughs> no way. Nicky! You are joking, man! <laughs> Oh, oh my god, you little <laughs> shit! So we got Jaws, Presley, Sullivan, and Mills all safely on hold. But Curtis is ready to go. He's about to meet Charlton now. Good. Then I can start talking about that little game of football we're playing tonight. Ah, oh, Dean. Hey, sorry, I'm on my way out. Oh no. Oh, I need you to sign the contract for Barcelona. They're going to spare at us. Leave it with me. I'll sign it later. Oh no, I need you to sign it now and it has to be faxed straight away. Sorry, no can do. I've got a million things to do. Look, it will take a few seconds. Do you really want me to tell Lee that you've been holding it up? Can you just excuse us for one moment, please? Close that door. Come here. If we send that contract, the club's gonna be left with no strikers. We'll both be out of a job. We've gotta stop it. What if we can't? If that Presley deal goes through, I'm gonna have to stop Curtis. I'll have to pull the plug. His meeting's in due to start now. You better get down there. Ah, oh, Curtis. This is Mike Thorpe. He's here on behalf of Charlton. Nice to meet you, sir. Likewise. Shall we start? Please. <laughs> Are you going to fax it through? Yeah, sure. Leave it with me. Oh, no. I'd rather wait. No problem. Well, 
Salary bonuses and contract are exactly as we discussed earlier. As far as I'm concerned, we're happy. Curtis? I'm sure you get a lot of players saying stuff like this, but it's always been my dream to play with Charlton. I'm absolutely happy. Great. Sorry, I'm late. Did my shackles let you not phone him? I did ask us to phone and let you know I'd be coming. Can't let you do that. What are you talking about, bro? On reflection, we feel that the current price substantially undervalues our player. We're gonna need an extra minute. No, no, this has always been the agreed price. I'm sorry. Those are the new terms. Take it or leave it. No, wait. D! 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 Don't you touch me! What's this all about? Why are you doing this? I'm the chief executive of Harchester United and I've got to do the best for this club. I thought the club needed more money. I thought it was a source for it out weeks ago. You're worth more than that, Curtis. They're trying to get you on the cheap. And when they come back in with the extra million, you'll see. Don't look good on me. Not at all. This could ruin everything. I'll come back in for you. Trust me. Just one more game for Archester. Never thought I'd be saying that. Lee! It's done and dusted. We're going to Barcelona. Hey, what do you think I said? It's a tea party. Uh, we'll be gone in a minute. Give the boy a kiss. He's earned it. Yeah, go on, Presley. Give her a kiss. Yeah, it won't be the first time. <laughs> what did you say? Right, <laughs> I know it's not exactly incest, but don't you find it a bit strange? Hey, Jeff. Um, Jeff, wait. Not a problem. Jeff, please, will you just listen to me? Look, we wanted to tell you, we tried. Look, you'll get your share of the money. You can even have mine as well if you... It was never about the money, Nikki. I know. I'm sorry. Look, I had no idea until he told me. He told you what we talked about? Yes. What a fool I am. No, you're not. I used to pride myself on being on the pulse. Look at me now. I haven't got a clue. I'll get out of your hair. A 1-0 win would be enough to take Harchester to the group stage of the Champions League and something around £10 million in cash. Despite that backdrop, their past troubles just won't go away, though. Presley Wright, Alexander Sullivan and Mills could well be playing their last game in a Harchester United shirt against Sporting Lisbon. The biggest game since I've been here. Oh, that is a tough one. Next question. Excuse <laughs> me. Excuse me, gents. We've got a problem. Viv Wright's asking for you. Mr. Chairman, what a pleasure to see you. What's the problem? No problem. No problem at all. He's refusing to get changed. Well, there's no point, is there? According to sources at this club, I'm not mentally fit to play professional football. And if I ain't fit to play in the Premiership for Bolton, I'm certainly not fit enough to play Champions League for Harchester. Wouldn't you say? 
some halfway to send his psychological report to the Reebok. They don't want to do business anymore. Listen, I can sort this out for you. I've heard it all before, mate. I've been hearing it all week. I'll speak to them and explain, but you've got to play in this much. You think you can mess about with people's lives? And then ask them for favours afterwards? I haven't messed with anything. I severely hope not. For your sake. All right, back off here. Look, if something's gone wrong with your deal, then this ain't the man to blame. I did earlier on today, and I was proved wrong. Sophia just called to say that Charlton have agreed to the new fee. Look, in any case, if you refuse to play again, and that'd be worse than any evidence than any doctor's report. Look, let's just go out there and pay our dues for this club. Dean will sort everything else out, right? So we've got ourselves a deal. Then he pokes. It's really important. Okay, now they might be a classy European outfit, but I can guarantee you two things. One, they won't be used to the atmosphere out there. And two, they will not like it if we mix it with them. So I want no pretty stuff, no fancy flicks, no back heels. We stick to the gameplay, and we get the one nil that we need. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah. Lads, before we go out there, I just want to say it's been a pleasure working with all of you. Give it a rest, Wordsworth. I wonder, will this be the last time Curtis Alexander and Lee Tout Harchester United? But there is something truly magic about European nights at the Dragon's Lair. Harchester United are at full strength, returns for Tommy Valentine and Clyde Connolly. Can Curtis Alexander and Lee Presley produce the girls that will put Harchester amongst the big boys in the group stage? It will be Sporting Lisbon to get the match underway. What an atmosphere! I just spoke to our friends at Barcelona. Apparently they haven't received any paperwork. You and Lee got something else planned, have you? No. Jeff, I sent it, I swear. Show me the confirmation slip. Here it is. This is a London number. Not a Spanish one. What? Oh my God. Where are you going? To get my money. Here's Presley. Oh, that's a foul. Cynically taken down, no doubt a free kick to Harchester. Now Lee Presley wants to take charge of this, just short of half time. Still goalless. Lee Presley. Oh, and a really good save by Ricardo. A half time whistle goes. It's all square at the break, but Harchester have played very well in this half. Why didn't it go to Spain? What? The signed contract for Lee Presley. Why wasn't it sent to Spain? I'm going to call security. No. You said that this had gone through. What is it? I shredded it. You. You made me scoop over Curtis. My best mate. I trusted you. Get out. My job's already done. I did what Knox asked me to do, so I'm already gone. What the hell's going on here, Dean? Once we've won this game, everyone's staying. What do you mean? Knox is going to use the Champions League money to one of the contracts. Unless we lose, all deals are off. Oh, my God. I've got them now. You're too late! Come on! Come on! And if any of you 
drop your work rate by so much as a fraction, you'll be straight off. You think you're tired? Think about being unemployed. Because we are working whatever it takes to win this game. You do it! Come on, boys, up to you. Jeff, look, I'm sorry. Don't talk. Just listen. If our Chester win this game, no players will be transferred. Don't ask me how I know. I know. If all the stuff I did for you meant anything, lose the game. Lose that game. What a momentous half of football this could be in the history of Harchester United Football Club. 0-0 at half-time, 1-0 would be enough to take Harchester through to the group stage of the Champions League. For the cross, and Tommy Valentine shot, blocked by Ricardo. And Valentine was close to the important goal there, set up by Presley. Harchester continue to hammer at the door here. Now, surely a penalty. Yes, it's given. Definitely manhandle Lee Presley. Harchester have a penalty. But what an opportunity Jeff, I've come to say goodbye. Before I've even packed my bags. Look, it's not like that. It's a way go. Now, there seems to be some confusion out here as to who's going to take the penalty. What are you doing, Sam? What's going on? We win this. Not trying to let anyone go. Now of Lee Presley. Can he score? Up against Ricardo. He does score. And a late, late penalty is surely going to take now. Harchester through to the group stage in the Champions League. What a moment it will be for everyone, including Chairman Dean Boyle. The Harchester fans ecstatic. Consummate professional. I guess that explains this. What? It's checked for the money we would have received if the Barcelona deal had gone through. He's outgrown both of us. What? It's a golden handshake. Saying goodbye to us. I'm gonna give you goodbye out there. game for him and the rest, I wonder. been relegated again. <laughs> All our and transfers have been cancelled. The club needs you to get them back into the Premiership next year. They're all staying. Dino. I'm so sorry. Come on, Kirsten. Come on, Kirsten. Come on. Come on, more friends, Lisa. You knew about this all along, didn't you?
coming soon on Dream Team. You're going to tell us what this place is? Boys, welcome to boot camp. You walk away now, he wins. I don't give a monkey's what he thinks. So I could still be like this six weeks from now. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Chelsea Wright giving up. Doesn't sound like you. No, you neither.